Hey guys, what we wanted to talk to you about today is getting the timing right on your drop away rest. That's critical to the operation of a rest like this. For most of you, quite frankly, the simplest thing to do is going to be to take it to your local pro shop. They have some of the special equipment that you need to do this, uh, like a bow press. So it's going to be easier if you just go there. But if you are one of those people who likes to work on your own stuff at home, we're just going to walk through some of the issues you might want to watch out for. So if you're, we'll start out with, if the cord is too long, the rest just isn't going to function. When you come to full draw, there's going to be some slack in the cord so the rest isn't going to pop up or it's not going to have enough to trigger the rest to then fall down. Either case, it's not going to work right. If the cord is too short, when you come to full draw, you're just going to pull it through the down cable and then the rest is going to be useless anyway. Uh, so you got to get that cord length exactly right. So we're going to walk through the process of setting this right. Um, what you would like to do is to have uh, a draw assist system like this. You're just going to pull the cord uh, tight. And so then as you crank this back, you can see the down cable is pulling the rest up. And it's just going to get it. You're just going to keep drawing through it. The bow's at full draw. Now you know that's the correct position for the cord. So you can then let the bow down and you know that that's where you need to tie your knot. That's going to secure that down cable in the right position. Your draw cord will be the exact right length that you need it to be to come to full draw. Drop away rest problems will be solved.